hello guys you are welcome to this tutorial video and in this video we are going to be cutting the 720 degree peplum the 720 degree peplum so this is the measurement we are going to be using i have my radius 2.5 inches and peplum length 9 inches 9 inches so if you don't know how to get your radius that means you haven't watched my previous video. The last video I posted, we talk a lot about making our peplum, making different different kinds of degrees of peplum. So we really talk about that. And we also talk about calculating our radius. So for the sake of this video, my radius is 2.5 inches, which is actually for my fastener measurement, 2.5 inches for the 720 degree peplum why the length of the peplum is nine inches i want it to be nine inches which is actually perfect and okay for me so now to fold my my fabric i have my fabric folded into four two here four, two here and here four one two three four so i have my fabric folded into four and to fold this fabric, I actually use my radius measurement and my peplum length. My radius measurement is 2.5, while my peplum length is 9 inches. I added it together, which gives me 11.5 inches. So this, this, this is 11.5 inches long. So to, 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 if you want to cut your, uh, your peplum, I will actually like you to to also do that as well to calculate the length which you are going to use to fold it so that you not have excess and as well you not waste your fabric you not waste your fabric so you just have to just calculate it my radius plus, plus my mesh plus my length is 11.5 inches and as you can see i have 11.5 inches here so that i will not have excess and the, my fabric will not be wasted so you can apply that as well so just like i said to get this radius is very simple all you need to do is go to my channel and watch the my last video i will actually drop the i will drop the link the link to the previous video under the description box so you can check that and watch the last video so that you can know how to get your radius as well as your peplum length all right let's just get started here i told you we are making 720 720 degree peplum 720 degree peplum so if you don't really understand what this 720 degree peplum means you need to watch that video you need to watch that video even if you understand you still need to watch that video because it is a very detailed video that talk about peplum you need to watch that as well so we are making the 720 degree peplum here just like i said my radius is 2.5 so we are going to start with the radius we are going to start with the radius from this angle here from this angle i am going to mark 2.5 i am going to mark 2.5 round i am going to mark it round 2.5 round like this from this angle just mark your 2.5 just mark your 2.5 hope you can see it that's why i'm using a colored yellow chalk so i've already marked my two for i've already marked my 2.5 now i want to use my my curve root just make the curve so that it will be me all right so that is it that is my radius and my peplum length is what is nine inches including the sewing allowance is nine inches so from here i'm just going to mark nine inches round nine inches so I'm marking one inches, nine inches now, as you can see, which is my peplum length. 
As you can see, I don't have excess fabric here. Why? Because I've already calculated my peplum length. I've already added my peplum length to my radius, which was what I used to fold my fabric. I did that because I don't want to waste my fabric at all. I don't want to waste it. So if you are making your peplum, please take note of that. Just calculate your radius and add it to your length, to the length and use it to fold your fabric. So that at the end of the day, you will not be having unnecessary excesses. All right, I'm connecting the, I'm connecting the lines together. I'm connecting the lines together. Remember, we are making the 720 degree peplum. We are making the 720 degree peplum. And hope you understand well what it means to make 720 degree peplum. So as you can see, this is nine inches, which is the length. And this is 2.5, which is the radius. So that is it for the first cutting. And I'm cutting it to get, cutting it as you can see. All right. All right, this is it. This is the first peplum, and now I am going to open it on one side. I am going to open it. So this is it. This is the first peplum. This is the first peplum. Remember, we are cutting two of this. We are cutting two of this. Why are we cutting two? Because we are cutting two because we are making 720 degree peplum and not 360 degree peplum. All right, so I'm just going to, to fold the second. I'm just going to fold the second cutting. I'm just going to fold it, and this will make you to this will make you understand very well the way I folded it. So this is my. This is my fabric. I'll fold it in, I'll fold it like this. And you know I told you, you know I told you that my my radius is 2.5 and my peplum length is 9 inches. So the radius plus the length is 11.5. And that is what I'm going to use to fold this. So that I will not waste my fabric. I will not waste my fabric. It is very important to know how to manage fabric. It is very important. So this is 13. I need like 11.5. I need 11.5. I need 11.5. All right, this is just like 11.5. 11.5. Okay, so this is it. I folded it into two here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to fold it again. Is to fold it again. Is to fold it again. With what? With the same 11.5 measurement. So from here, when I'm folding it from here to here should be 11.5. This is like 12. So this is still okay. All right, make sure you fold it very neat. Make sure you don't have, make sure you fold it very neat and shake the under very well so that it will not squeeze under. So you need to fold it very neat for you to have the perfect cutting. For you to have the perfect cutting. For you to have the perfect cutting. Okay, so that's 
that is it. That is it. So now let's cut our radius. Let's which is 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, Now let me make the curve with my curve ruler. So that is it. Now the peplum length is nine inches, nine inches. Now I'm marking the length. Hope you can see it very well. Hope you can see it very well. All right. Now I'm marking the length of my peplum. And I hope you understand. All right. Now I'm just going to connect the lines together to make my circle. Okay. This is it. And now let me do the cutting. Let me cut this through. All right, that is it. This is our second peplum. This is our second peplum. So this is it. So as you can see, it is a circle. It is a circle, just like I said in the previous video. Now I am going to cut it because we are going to be joining it to the second to the second circle. Now this is the first and this is the second. Now what we are going to be doing is to join it together. Is to join it together. So this is where I will join it. I will join it straight down. Why this is where our zipper opening will be. This is where our zipper opening, opening will be. And we have one inch zipper allowance on each side already. So if you, if you watch my previous video, you will know we have added it already. Now I am going to the sewing machine to join it together. And I will bring it back here for you to see. Okay, guys, so this is what I have after joining it together. I use the yellow thread to join it so that you can see it very well. So I use the one inch allowance to join it. Half inch here, half inch here, which makes it to be one inch. So this is what I have after joining it together. This is our 720 degree peplum. This is our 720 degree peplum. As you can see, it is looking full, looking full. Just imagine where you had your, your crinoline, your, your peplum state to this. Just imagine how beautiful, how full it will look like. So this is it. And that is the advantage it has over 360 degree peplum. It will be more fuller, more beautiful and just as you can see just as you can see so this is it this is it thanks thanks for watching this video and thanks for subscribing to my channel i hope to see you in the next video i hope to see you and if you have any question for me please drop it at the comment section drop it at the comment section i will i will reply to your question i'll answer your question so thank you thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed please go and do so before you leave this channel because before you go just go and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching